Hey guys, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to sync a folder to Google Drive. Before we jump in guys, would you mind taking a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video. And on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now let's continue. Now, in order to sync a folder from your computer, I'm talking about Windows PC or your Mac, you need to have Google Drive installed on your computer. And I'm going to show you where you can get this installer for Windows or where you can easily get this for Mac as well. It's very easy. So I'm inside Google Drive here on my computer. And as you can see on the lower left hand side, I have a pop up that says get drive for Windows. I can click download here. Another way you can find this for Windows is if you click the gear on the upper right hand side, it goes to settings and you have the option as well that says get drive for desktop. So if you click on that, it will take you over to this page here where you can download it for desktop. All you have to do is click download. Here it says as well that it's also available for Mac. And I'm going to show you how you can easily go ahead and download it for Mac as well. Now, once you're inside the Google Drive, you can click on computers and you will have this section here at the bottom that shows that no folders are synced and it says learn more. If you click on that, it will take you to this page here where you can download it for Mac and you can download it for Windows, right? So you can expand this, hit the download button, and you can also do the same for Mac to download it for Mac. You will get it as a Google Drive DMG file and you can set it up on your Mac, right? Now I've gone ahead already and installed this for Windows. As I said, it's pretty easy. Just simply hit the download and you will download this. As you can see, it's currently downloading at the moment. And once this is downloaded, all you have to do is just simply run the installer. You will have a Google Drive setup exe file. As you can see in the upper right here, and you just need to double click and run that installer file. I have it here on my download folder and just install it. The step is pretty straightforward. And once you do, you'll have the Google Drive setup. Now, let me show you what it looks like. So if I scroll down here in my file explorer and go to this PC, you see that I have a G drive here. And it simply means that Google Drive is set up on my computer here. If I also click on the lower right hand side, this up arrow, you'll see that I have Google Drive as one of those up here running, right? Now, if you open this Google Drive and I open up my drives, you can see that I have folders and files here on my drive that I can easily go ahead access, right? So it is there. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what oh, I have it for a particular drive that is currently set up. So I'm gonna open up a new window here and I'm gonna show you how I sync this using Google Drive. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a folder here on my computer. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna simply go ahead and create a new test folder. So I'm gonna call this one test and I'm gonna leave it at that. Now, in order to sync this folder here to Google Drive, I just need to put it into my drive. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my file explorer here, then go to my this PC, and then open up my G drive or my Google Drive, open up the drive, and just move this folder here. So I just can go ahead and just drag it here anywhere and it will go ahead and I will sync this folder. So let me go ahead just to ensure that I don't sync it anywhere where it shouldn't go. So I'm gonna drag it here and let it go. And as you can see, the folder test is now there. And this folder will be now uploaded to my G drive. So I'm gonna show you that in a moment. So have a look at this. If I open up my file explorer and I go to my Google Drive here, let's open up drive you can see that the test folder is there. Let me show you under my files or my drive. You can see that I have the test folder here, right? And this folder is uploaded to my drive. So that's one way how to do it, guys. I'm gonna delete this folder here and show you another way how to sync it directly from your Windows PC. You don't have to do it like this. So let me show you another way. If you go ahead and open up this Google Drive up here on the lower right hand side, Click on the gear, which goes to settings. You can go ahead and you can click on preferences. And here you have the option, my laptop 
and you can add folders what this does if you add it like this whatever you add or remove any folder files within this specific folder that you will add it will automatically sync so let's say I go ahead and add this folder here remember it's empty I'm gonna go to my desktop I'm gonna find the test folder I'm gonna click on that and click on select folder then I'm gonna leave it to sync to Google Drive click and done and as you can see it's there I'm gonna click on save now this folder is going to be added to my Google Drive or let's say synced and I'm going to show you so if I click there again click it you will see that this test folder is synced now what I'm going to do let me open up this test folder here and you know it's empty see it's empty and I'm going to go ahead and go back to Google Drive just to show you again so if I go back to my drive right now in order to find that sync folder here on google drive you need to go to computers right and here you need to open my laptop and you have the test folder here so this is where this folder is stored now as you can see this folder is empty but let me go ahead and add a file to this folder so as i said if you add anything to this folder it will automatically sync so if i add this book one here into this folder it is going to sync if you look at it again here from google drive you will see that this file here is now uploaded into it as you can see it's uploading see and it's synced which means that it is synced now to that folder in my google drive so if i open up that google drive folder again look at that the file is now synced directly into google drive and that's it this is as easy as that here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time